Hello and welcome to my tutorial on the cracking oil cracking unit for Greg Tech 5 U experimental and show you the recipe here for the controller. She's going to need copper nickel coil blocks times four. Two advanced circuits, two HV electric pumps, an HV machine casing or machine hall. And basically, this unit is going to be used to make cracked heavy or cracked light fuel, which is then used to get refinery gas or naphtha things like that to help you advance on into advance higher into high voltage and then on into like extreme voltage now if you look at the controller it's a three by three by five the controller goes front and center it's made from stainless steel casings, 18 at least. You will need either 20 or 21, not counting, well, yeah, you'll need 20 or 21 of these, depending on how you build it. On both sides of the controller, you will need rings of copper nickel coils. Then you will need on either end the stainless steel casings around an input or an output then in the same ring with the controller you can have a second input I do believe this part is a typo I know axle gear from the Thylacraft server has built this unit and used it without a second input hatch but we're going to build it with it see how it works with it uh, you also in that ring will have your maintenance hatch and your energy hatch so first thing we're going to place is our energy hatch which is high voltage hook it up to our 8x silver cable and we're going to put Casing on either side of that. Our controller will go here. And we'll put one there. And one there. I'm going to put the extra input hatch here. And I always put my maintenance hatch right behind my controller. Next we will do our outer ring of copper nickel coils and then far out ring oops gotta watch that hitbox This side will be our input. It does not matter which side you have for input and which side you have for output. And then output over here. Now when it's all done, you'll see them change color. Once they have all changed color, you'll know that the block is complete. It will not say incomplete structure right here in the bottom. And so now we have to give it all of the tools in the maintenance hatch. Wire cutters and our soft hammer. Okay, I'm going to use a shutter on a pipe with a machine controller the lever on that 
just to, sh to shut off the input going in to the machine hit it with the soft hammer to enable it and I forgot to put the screwdriver in um, there it is there we go so now it's formed and ready to go now to make this you will also need a chemical reactor and a distillery my distillery is upstairs up to this pipe coming into this chemical reactor so the first step is going to be to send oil in with an integrated circuit I've chosen to do number two so we will be making sulfuric light fuel you can also make sulfuric heavy fuel with configuration three so it is just running and filling up in the pipes and in this chemical reactor right here now the chemical reactor is holding the sulfuric light fuel you give it one full cell of hydrogen and one empty cell that will then run and make two hydric sulfide cells and 6000 light fuel and as soon as I hit this here that will get sent on to that so I'm gonna go ahead and hit that that will start sending it over here and it should not turn on until I hit the switch here so let's hit the switch let's see if there's enough over here yet to make it run there we go it's now running and if we look over here we are getting cracked light fuel I'm going to go ahead and turn this back off for now it'll go ahead and run through whatever it's got in there and I'm going to hook an output to this to send it on to a centrifuge I do believe is the next step in this chain Well, you can send it into a distillery for naphtha. Oh, yeah, looks like we need another distillery first. With integration circuit zero. Because what we are looking for is refinery gas. Which will then be sent to a centrifuge to make LPG. And methane gas. But we are wanting the LPG because we need that to make epichlorohydrin with chlorine and carbon and then that is used to make polytetrafluoroethylene which we are trying to get to to make this plate to be able to make this empty circuit board so this is the main reason I in this world have made this machine and I hope that helps if you're interested in seeing the rest of the the build uh, to get to that final circuit uh, feel free to watch my series and I will be working on that in the next few videos trying to get it all done so I can make a vacuum freezer so hope that helped hope you enjoyed if you have any questions leave me a comment 
and I'll be glad to answer it the best I can. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day.